everybody, I'm Jenny McGarvey with Keep It Simple Paper Crafts. I am so excited to be here with you today. What could be better than crafting from the safety and comfort of our own home with our friends? I think it's awesome. Not to mention, we have some really fun deals today. And Keep It Simple is no exception. We have a couple of things that we are really excited about, including this weekend only, June 13th and 14th, we have a deal for you. Buy three paper packs and get to choose the fourth one for free. You do have to use a code, which is June 13, J-U-N-E-1-3, and that will apply the discount in your cart. And don't forget that we have free shipping over $75 after your discount. I mean, I think it's a great deal, and that is gonna buy you so much stuff to craft. You'll be so busy, forget cleaning the kitchen. Anyway, now, we have a really fun project that I wanna demo for you. I wanna show you how to put it together so then you can make it yourself at home. We are going to be using some of our Back to Basics collection and our Max and Daisy collection as well. And they are so cute for all the fluffy fur babies in your life. If you're a dog mom or a cat mom or a cat dad, we have got some fun stuff for you. So let me show you the items that we're gonna be using today to create this really super cute layout, and then we'll get into creating. For our title, we used the Bell Outline stamp set, and this is from our Back to Basics collection, and I think this might be one of my personal favorite items. I love how versatile the alphabet is. You can use it for lots of stuff, including your cards, and then also look at that. That's how we made the title on this one. I simply stamped it on the patterned paper, cut it out, and we have a great title. Now we do have another really cute stamp set in the store, the Scarlet Alphabet Stamp as well. Now our stamps are a limited quantity of in stock stamps. So if you wanna not wait for stamps, make sure you hurry up and order. Now in terms of embellishments, because embellishments are definitely the way to go, we are using two sets of puffy stickers. We have our mini puffy stickers, the dogs. Aren't they adorable? There's so many of them. And then we also have the puffy sticker buttons. These are just fantastic. They make such great embellishments on all of your paper crafting. Now we also use the 12 by 12 sticker sheet from the Max and Daisy collection as well. And I love, there's big stickers, little stickers, all kinds of stickers, so it's really good. Now, let's not forget we used both of the Max and Daisy collection packs. We used the collection pack and then we used the flip side pack as well. I don't know if you've ever used our paper before, but if you haven't, it's an 80 pound felt weave paper and it is beautiful, such high quality, so fun to craft with and the colors are absolutely stunning on this paper. Now, you know we had to pull in some back to basics paper because it's beautiful, it's versatile, and so that's exactly what we did. We used our Lemon Collection Pack, we used our Royal Collection Pack, and we also used our Mango Collection Pack. Now, if you're watching this and you think, wow, I really love that layout, I really wanna create it, I need all of the things to do that. Well, we have got it for you. We have a project bundle on the shop at home section of the Keep It Simple website. It's already marked down 25% for this weekend only. The bundle will always be on our website. However, this weekend only is at 25% off. You don't need a code, it's already marked down. I mean, throw that in, add in some other paper packs, you'll for sure make that $75 free shipping threshold, am I right? All right, so let's not delay, let's get to creating. Let's get started creating that adorable layout using the three different Back to Basics collection packs and then also the two collection packs from Max and Daisy. We're gonna start with the base, which is this beautiful buffalo plaid from the Lemon collection pack. And this paper is actually called Chickadee in case you wanna pull it out of the pack that you already have. The front is this beautiful buffalo plaid and then the back side is a really basic paper pack. I think you're gonna love creating with these. They're just beautiful and like I said before, they do coordinate with most of the collections that we have. 
So the first thing that I did was I already trimmed up some papers. Now I did that because I wanted to add some mach machine stitching and I didn't want to do that on camera. So I simply trimmed one inch from the Royal Collection Pack and this paper is called Cascade. So I'll go ahead and just add my adhesive to the back. and go ahead and adhere it down to the paper. Now I'm just making sure that I'm lining it up on the edge and the top and the bottom, and then making sure that it's stuck down nicely on the paper. Now I'll do the same thing with the other side. It's also an inch thick and has that machine stitching as well. Adding a little bit of adhesive. There we go and then I will add this over to this right hand side so we have matching on both edges of the paper. Now also I'm going to add a couple of patterned paper squares. I did the same thing. I added the machine stitching and I also already cut them out. They are both three inches square, so three inches tall and three inches wide. I'm going to go ahead and add this one first adding a little bit of adhesive in the corners. And then at the bottom of this layout, I will just have that align with the bottom edge of the paper. Now I'm going to do the same thing at the top with these adorable little bones, just adding some adhesive in the corners. There we go. Now what a super cute base that is. These patterned papers go well together. I love having the really dog inspired bone paper, but then the other three are just really basic and simple. So it makes that bone paper stand out and look extra awesome. Now I'll go ahead and add my photo as well. I've already backed it with a small border of white cardstock and I'll add my adhesive in the corners again. I'm going to center it over the small box that I already added and just make sure that that is adhered nicely and straight. Now, as you can see, got the base of my layout. So it's really time to start embellishing. I'm going to start with some photo corners. These come in the Back to Basics collection kits and they are simply, all you need to do is just pop them out and adhere them. So we're just adding that to that corner and then I will do the same thing up in the upper left hand corner as well. I love the little bit of layering. It's very interesting, adds a little bit of something without being overwhelming and without overwhelming the photo because I definitely want this super cute picture of Ryder to be the focal point of this layout. Next, I want to add the title. Now the title is such an important part of this layout and I used something that I absolutely love and we talked about already, but this is the Bell Outline Alphabet Stamp. This stamp set is so versatile and really makes it so that you can stamp and then do techniques like say watercolor or Copic markers or something like that. Or if you wanna be like me, you can simply stamp these on patterned paper and trim them out. You wanna try that? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take the Bell Outline Alphabet Stamp and a sheet from the Mango Collection Pack. This one is Tangerine Dream. It has this nice linen pattern on the top, and then the back has these really delicate stars. It's so beautiful. One of my very favorite pieces from this collection, to be sure. Now, I'm simply going to take my stamp. I've already added it to a block, and then I'm also going to use the VersaFine ink. I'm going to add the ink to the stamp, stamp it with even firm pressure. And then now the beauty of this is that I have orange alphabets that will match my paper perfectly. So now what I would do is I would trim this out. I like to leave a little bit of a border around the outside of my alphas. I think that it looks really pretty and it just really accents 
the whole piece nicely. But if you're one of those people who likes to get super close up to the ink and ha not have a border, that's okay too. You should do whatever your preference is. I'm just leaving a little bit around the outside and then I will adhere these to the layout as my title. Now this Bell Alphabet stamp set is going to get a ton of use because I absolutely love the font. I love how basic and simple it is and how I can dress it up with anything, pattern paper, cardstock, anything that I have in my stash. Do you see how cute that is and how perfect the size is for a 12 by 12 layout? Okay, so I've already cut some other ones and we're gonna use those because I don't want to take the time to cut them all out perfectly for you right here because heck, we don't have enough time to scrapbook as it is, am I right? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this one. I'm using a wet glue, just a little bit on the back. Since this is a little bit, these details are a little bit more fine and a little bit thinner, I don't wanna worry about my tape runner. So I'm just adding a little bit of wet glue on the back and I'm going to go ahead and adhere that down to my page. I'm making sure to get all the edges just so I don't have any lifting in the corners or anything like that, but I'm really only applying just a tiny bit because I don't want there to be any warping or any seeping out the edges because you can definitely have that if you add too much glue. Now this is simply the name of the dog in the photo, but it makes such a cute title piece to use the dog's name, don't you think? I really like that idea a lot. Now again, like I said when I was stamping, if you prefer to get close to the edge of the stamps, this is an easy one to do that. You can absolutely do that and not have any border on the outside. That's simply a preference. down and I won't have any edges that are lifting. All right, see that looks fantastic. Now I can build upon this with more embellishments and also my journaling as well. Now speaking of journaling, I just added a little bit of typewritten journaling that I printed out on my computer. I used a font that mimics a typewriter, but you can use whichever font that you prefer in your layouts as well. I'm going to take this first one and I'm going to center it underneath the journaling. And then on the rest of them, what I will do is I will offset them a little bit just to make it look a little bit more interesting. I'm just adding a little bit of adhesive to the back, again, making sure that I get enough on there so that I'm not having any lifting on the edges. And then we will finish up with the final little piece of journaling. So enough to tell the story of the photo, but not too much that I feel like it's overwhelming the page. There we go. Now it's all finished and complete. So now we can really have some fun adding the embellishments. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna pull out my sticker sheet. Remember this 12 by 12 beauty? All these adorable embellishments. I'm going to add the little frame. I'd like to create a little focal point frame. And so on the sticker sheet there is already a beautiful frame with some blue stripes. See it right here? I'm gonna take that and I'm going to adhere it to some white cardstock because then I give myself that nice white background. Just making sure it's stuck to the cardstock and then I'm going to trim it with my paper trimmer. I could use scissors if I prefer that. I like to use my paper trimmer just to make sure I get a nice even cut and I'm not always so great at getting those with my scissors. All right, so we have that finished. Now I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing we did before, which is add a little bit of adhesive on the back just to make sure it'll stick nicely to my page. 
and I'm going to overlap the photo just a tiny bit and the photo corner as well. Now, once again, I'm going to add something so cute that I love, which is this little fire hydrant sticker. I'm going to stick him down right here. And then also on top of it, layer this adorable little dog. Now, the little dog comes from these mini puffy stickers and these are the buttons, but there's also a few cute pets on there as well. I mean, look at the cute little cat with the sunglasses, but I'm gonna use this guy. It's like he was made for this spot. He is going to hang over just perfectly. See that? But I'm not done yet. I do wanna add just a tiny bit more to this frame. It's so cute. I've got a couple of stickers Remember, from my sticker sheet, I'm going to pull them off and layer them on top of one another. Alrighty, so I'm going to stick down the first yellow one, but then I want to pull off another one and just have them overlap. I just love the way that that looks, and I always love a little bit of layering on a layout, especially with stickers because you're not really adding any extra bulk, and so I love the way that that turns out. Now, isn't that such a cute little spot right there, and it really accents the title so well. Now, I'm also going to do another little sticker cluster down here at the bottom, and what I'm gonna do with that is I'm going to pull out this super cute little dog house. You see it down here? I love how it says dog too. All right, I'm gonna put him in the middle of this box. And then on top of it, I'm going to layer a couple of these cute little dog puffy stickers. Now we do also remember have the cats in the shop as well. So if you are a cat parent, you might prefer those. But I'm going to add this cutie right here. And then on top of him, I'm going to add this adorable little basset hound. Like they're best friends hanging out outside of their dog house. All right, so now. The last thing that I want to do is I want to add, well, it's actually not the last thing, second to last thing. I'm going to add a waterfall or a cascade of embellishments down this page, starting in the upper left-hand corner and going down to the lower right-hand corner. So I'm going to take these adorable buttons and different dog-inspired shapes and start adding them to my page. I think just to get set the mood, I'm going to start with this really cute little paw print up here in the corner. And then I'm just going to continue adding. So for example, I had the cute paw print and then now I'm going to just a really basic solid colored button. However, there's no reason to stop there because we, as we discussed, I want to work my way down diagonally from the upper left hand corner to the lower right hand corner. Now one of my favorite things about these buttons is that there are a variety of sizes and a variety of shapes, but we already can see that. But the other part is that there's a variety of patterns as well. So it's not just, oh, they're all polka dots or they're all solids. No, we also have stripes and we also have little paw prints inside, like this little red. If you can see that, it's a paw print pattern and that's just so cute and just such a nice little touch on these buttons. So you really get a lot of different variation. I also really love the dimension on these. They're very, they have a nice height to them as well and they definitely add a beautiful interest to this layout despite the fact that we used a lot of patterned paper and stickers. Now you add these puffy stickers and they really create something special very easily. I also love tying in this paw print with the title. It's so cute and it works out great together. All right, so now we've gotten ourselves down to the title. Now I can go down to this lower portion as well. And I'm super excited because this layout is turning out just how I thought would be so cute. So just still varying up the different patterns and the different colors and the different sizes because there's so many different options on this sheet. It's just wonderful. But 
this is definitely not the last step so we're going to add a little tiny bit more before we're finished all right so now you can see i've added all of my puffy shapes and i would manage to get that waterfall cascading idea down the side and it's so cute and look at that there's still so many left what a great value this sheet is because i could still make a whole nother layout or i can add them to cards or other paper crafting activities as well now the last thing that i want to do is i want to add a tiny bit more journaling now this is one of the die cuts that's included in the royal actually it's included in all the back to basics kits and I just wanted to hand write the location and the date and the reason that this was important to me is because I like to make sure that there's a little bit of handwriting on each layout and then not only that but I love the contrast between having this typewritten which Remember, if you have a vintage typewriter, you could add that with the handwritten as well. So I'm just going to go ahead, whoops, I pulled that off, that happens sometimes, and slip this right behind the photo, centering it underneath to keep that column right there, and then adhering it down. And that, my friends, is the super cute layout using the Max and Daisy collection, both the pack, the pet sorry including the paper pack and then also the flip sides paper pack as well and then we also pulled in the back to basic paper collections the royal the mango and the lemon and don't forget we also use those awesome bell outline stamps and the puffy sticker buttons and the mini puffy stickers also this was a jam-packed layout and it was so fun to make now if you would like to recreate this layout with these items you absolutely can this weekend only which is june 13th and 14th you can get this bundle of supplies in our shop at home section on the Keep It Simple website. And for this weekend only, it's 25% off. We'll always have the bundle in the store going forward, but it just won't be 25% off. It's 25% off only this weekend. So go and get it and then you can download the project sheet and make this one on your own as well. Doesn't that sound super fun? Anyway, so don't forget the bundle and also that the special of this weekend that you can get three packs and get the fourth pack for free. Isn't that exciting? Make sure you take advantage of all of the great deals that are in the shop and all the rest of the things this weekend and then share with us what you're creating as well on social media. You can either do that in our Keep It Simple paper crafting group or on Instagram as well. So thanks so much and make it a great day.